Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let us take our seats. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Mr. Dani forgot of this one thing. That Sunday next week, Sunday thou, we are receiving new members. And tell even those who are not here present. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, no. So test Each one of us. When we 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 want retorta. Things to come well with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the a cry for every one of us. That it must be well with me. Is that not the truth? The answer is there in the Bible. It's very simple. It says, uh, respect your father and your mother. It's then that things will go well with your life. <laughs> oh, it's so simple. If you, it comes to father and mother, let me be your father and your mother. <laughs> uh, if you don't have them, I need to be your father and uh, your mother. It says respect them. Or oh, just shake the person seated next to you. Do you want things to go well in your life? That is the answer, the real answer. If you respect them, it's then that things will be well in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is at work. Hey, there are a lot of things that the Lord God is doing in, among us and in our lives. Hey, things that are, you know, when you hear that, you, you become fearful. Hey, if in your ears, they say, see. The woman for that. Is that Miss Mfamadi? You're welcome. We schooled with the hair at Cueva. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was saying uh, on Monday, Nikori Namusumburu. Boaz is starting to laugh now. Nikori, hair group, Gurchi Chavo. From the other side of the mountains. They were here on Monday. Maybe boss let her stand up here so that people can. can, can I, I was saying on, on, on Friday. Nobody chikoringa lockdown. If you receive a blessing from the Lord, don't hide it. Let others know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not doing the things of the vendors and the shangans on the other side. <laughs> hey, if you eat yours, you must hide. Oh, I let everybody know about this thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She has never hidden what the Lord has done on her, over her life. She told her colleagues the other side. That the, the ones that she used to work with, the, the other side. When they heard that, but she told herself so. Those that are, are on the other side. They give me the phones of your pastor. They never told even Boaz. They spoke while they were here in Atlantica. 
that we are already at this side. We also need the grace the Lord gave unto you. Father. And they came here. We prayed with them. We prayed for them. They left. As if nothing has happened. But on the way. They came on Monday. And I heard that when they they phoned on Thursday because they came here on Monday. And they said, one is was phoning back. This young woman. Said, Pastor, I I had given up. In my life, for many years, rain was not raining. And she was, she said, when I was going on the way, even before arriving home, hey, rain started raining with the mifumbi. It never stopped. Yes, I am. She was calling, it was on Thursday. Or even now, it's still raining. This Lord is among us. It's for miracles and everything. If you are here, I don't even want to help her. Open your heart. Receive the word with joy. And the Lord will be visible your sight. Touch your neighbor over there. Neighbor, the Lord will show himself your sight. In the name of Jesus. We are reading the word of the Lord. From the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 1 and 2. Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 1 and 2. Can you put it on the screen? We are yeah. preaching under this topic. There it is. A cloud of witnesses. Set your neighbor a cloud. A cloud of witnesses. When it said a cloud of witnesses, that means these witnesses, they are not sure. There are so many innumerable. These are the witnesses. And who are these witnesses? These are the ones who lived in this life. Who loved the Lord? Who have gone before us? Where they are, they are with the Lord. Where they are, they are not in the graves. I mean, those who lived with us, who loved the Lord who have gone they have gone to be with the Lord are we together in that room they are not in the graveyard where they are they are looking at you from where they are. They are witnesses over your life. 
Kamachiro Agone. Yes. These are the witnesses. They are a cloud of witnesses. They know this way. They know the hardship. They know everything about this life. When they look at you from above, this is what they are saying. The is never come can we read it together, this, 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 this verse? Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. These witnesses, they are cheerers, like people sitting in the, in the stadium. In the athletic fields. They are cheerers. Cheering us on our way of salvation. And the writer here says, Mungaria Pauri. Since we are surrounded by a mighty, such a great cloud of witnesses who are around us, throw off, throw away everything that hinders us Throw that away. This, there are things in this life which you really know. For nobody can rob himself. Nobody can lie to himself. There are things that hinders us. You know it. Throw that away. These are the things. When the Bible says anything that hinders us, it hinders you from where? From arriving. From touching the glory of the Lord. From touching your blessing. Many a times we cry. This God is not blessing me. Hey, there are things that hinders the blessing you want. Throw them away. If it's God, let him bless me as I am. It does not work that way. There are things. My Bible says. God. Does not look. At, at sin. Throw that away. Things that hinders you. It's a human responsibility. I mean to throw it away. Things that hinders me. Hatred. 
How you wish someone is dead? That kind of attitude. You are hindering yourself. I'm saying you are hindering yourself. That kind of a heart cannot receive a blessing from God. Touch someone over there. You are hindering yourself. Throw away hatred, pride, and such related things. Throw them away. Things that hinders you. You don't wish another person who thinks well. Just you know happened. Not long here. Bob Merambo was conducting an offering. Ms. Rama was, was conducting an offering. There is someone who is uh, so cross. Right here. Wearing a, a shining belt. Hey, yeah, they are here to pray over us. Throw that away. Things that hinders us. Touch your neighbor, neighbor. Things that hinders us. There are things that hinder the church. Throw them away. There are things that hinder the blessings of family. In the family, in your house, in your life, throw them away. Throw them away. We were dancing not long here. When going forward and back. And someone was saying, uh, they are breaking over us. It's a breaking sideways. You don't look at the good side of the that, things that are happening. That is the attitude of the heart. Throw that away. Say, neighbor. Throw it away. Away. I say, away. Throw it away. These are the things that hinders us. Things that hinder us. And the Bible says, from the text I have, it says, even sin. Even sin. Even sin. It's things that hinder us. There are things that hinder us. Maybe which are not seen. Which are not seen. Which are those? Overeating. I mean, overeating. Ulesa. As achieving. As achieving. <laughs> but it hinders us from something. I mean, overeating. Ulesa. You go always to the funerals. You are holding two plates. There's no other one you are going to eat all of them, man. Things that hinders us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says, throw that away. Even sin. Throw it away. The sin that entangles you. 
You said you said yourself. I'm out. Two weeks to come. You are again. You are back again. In the same scene. This is the scene that entangles you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one that entangles me. If I can give an example of a habit, smoke, smoking habit. In the next sumbo, nando wero yoda, yoda for. A person can say, "Mutu angambari." I'm out. I'm not over. I'm not over. Throwing all the packets and everything away. But in the night, but you are in the cold, rainy night, that, 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 that thing, nicotine, nicotine, it will speak to you in the middle of the night. Raining and cold. It will say, Smoke me. You, you, you rise, rise, wake up. There's nothing in the house. You walk to the neighbor. I don't want to say, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, I don't want to left one stompy man, one stompy man. That thing is a little It has entangled your life. It has just grown even some roots, deep roots. It, the Bible says, throw it away. Of Jesus. And it says this going forward, we are panda. Run with endurance. In the race, which is meant for you. The, the race. In Christ. Here in Christ. We are in the race. And this race. is not easy. I will never say to you it is easy. It's not easy. The Bible says. Run. With endurance. And do a race. It means when you are running, there will be some attractives on the side. And do those attractives. They must not take your life. They must not pull your life. And do Pass them. Pass. With your new arrays. When you are passing, you must things will be. Taking your attention. So cajoling. And you have to undo what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say we are in the journey. We are in the journey. And do what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say and do what? And do what? I say, and do Are you a single parent? And do Living a life with endurance. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every endurance. Who come to the Every endurance. Who come to the Living life. Uchira, uchira. With endurance. Who now come to the Rangabomo? When the Bible says endure, it's not easy, it's not nice, but, but endure. We are passing through things, through challenges, through disturbances, through disappointments, through attacks, even physical attacks. We are passing through things, through discouragements. We are passing through things. Send your neighbor, neighbor, you are not alone. We are passing. I as well. I am passing. You are not alone. We are passing through things. Paul says to Timothy, he says, Timothy, in, in, in Timothy chapter, Second Timothy 2, verse 3 and 4. Can we, can we have this on the screen? Timothy. Timothy. Yeah, this is the one. Let's read it together. Join with me in suffering. Stop it there. Can we repeat it? Join with me in suffering. I'm not hearing it well. He says, join me in suffering. Paul says, I buffet my body. That it must listen to Christ. This means the attitude of the body. The body itself by itself is not saved. Tell you, say to your neighbor, your body is not saved. And your body can draw you back to hell. This body is not saved. What it desires is not what my spirit desires. There is a singer I saw on television. A big woman. She was she's singing gospel. She says, The things around our lives. Which when they come, I must run away. Not Things that entangles us. Other things you need to run away. This one is a muhu, this one. Be a muhu of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, run with endurance. Around as you are running, there are cheerers. The clouds of witnesses. When you are meeting this difficulty, they are shouting at you. They are cheering at you. They are saying, Run! You are running. You are tired. You are falling down. There are cheers. Who are saying it? Run! Don't fall down. And do it. There are those 
around your life who is sharing your life they are saying sister they are saying mama don't sit down rise up and walk and move forward move forward they are sharing over your life about the cloud of witnesses. There is a cloud of witnesses. Never do think you are alone. There are those who are clapping for you. Clapping for over your life. Who are saying continue. You are in the right track. Don't give up. Giving up what? The race. We are in the race. Rimbambe. Say neighbor. Don't give up. Continue to run. Continue to run. Continue to run. Don't you give up. They are cheer us over there. There is a cloud of witnesses. They are there watching over us. A cloud of witnesses who are saying you are about to win. You are about to make it. Continue. Continue. You are about. You are about. You are about. You are about. A cloud of witnesses. There is a cloud of witnesses all around our lives. They, they are calling your name, calling you by your name, calling us by our names. Cloud of witnesses. As a cloud of witnesses, they are cloud of witnesses. They are calling on your life. By your name. Don't give up. Arise. 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 They're calling you by name. They're a cloud of witnesses. Don't you ever think you are alone? Paul says, Join me in this suffering. Join me in the suffering. Join me as I avoid, I evade, evade. From things that hinders me. I'm, I'm moving away. Paul, Paulo, he was a bachelor. I mean, Paul, Paul, an educated general with six degrees and married. And he said, I do not want if you were like me. He was inviting others. If you were like me, I would say, do not marry. He was not married. He was not aspiring for one. No. He says, if you are like me, I'm, 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 I'm well. It is well with me. As I am, is well with me. As I am, one thing I need in this life is Christ the crucified. No other things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, he says, No other things. I do not want to know another thing other than Jesus. He says to, to, to Timothy, Join me in this suffering like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled. With in civilian affairs. A soldier 
The soldier does not handle people. He does not, he's not involved with civilian affairs. I mean a soldier. Uh, he, he does not write a docket. I'm not talking. I mean a soldier. He's not involved. I'm not involved. Like a good soldier of Christ. Run. I'm not talking. Run. I'm not In this life, run. There is a race. Who number? Which is for you. And my race, the way I, where I am running, we are not maybe running on the same free field. Not in the same field, perhaps. But there is a race, and my race, which I must run. The singer says. There is a race. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be free. That I must remain true. Especially in this hour of life. In this hour of life. Why things are haywire? Late 80s. I was in the, we were in the conference in Cape Town. Robertica conference in Cape Town. And this, uh, this guy, who you He was in the Bible school. Over Bible school. He says Milton, Milton, Milton is my name. Are Milton, 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 it's in the uh, I wish we can, we can share the same bedroom. I said, no problem. He was in the Bible school. Over oh, Bible school. And someone overheard him speaking. Who know him better? That person came to me. He says, did he say he wants, he, he wants you to, that you share the bedroom? I said, yes. He says, do not ever agree. I said, hey, don't play that field. Eh? In that field. That man is in the Bible school, yes. Bible school is old. But he says, he will support, sodomize you. <laughs> he will never play with you. <laughs> that is his business. Run! Did you hear me saying this? I'm saying, run! I ran away. When he looked for me, I was nowhere to be found. 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 I will never agree for I know where I am going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know who I want is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Paul is speaking in Ephesians 6. I think he's speaking to, to Timothy when he are running Timothy. Do not forget this one thing. Do not forget the shield of faith. 
Chitangu charutendo. When you are running, Bachikokitima. pick up the shield of faith. Abata In this journey of life, have the shield of faith. Abata chitangu charutendo. A shield, chitangu, with which you will block the, the flaming arrows of the devil. When you are in Christ, you are not immune. The flaming arrows will still be thrown on your life. When you are running, don't be forever satisfied that I am in the church. I am in Christ. You are in Christ. Yes, but the shield take a hold of the shield. Set your neighbor the shield. Pick up your shield. Pick up the shield. You are in Christ. But you must take up the shield. The shield of faith. With, with which you will, you, you will duck. The flaming arrows of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Timothy, Timothy, do not forget the sword of the spirit. About the sword. In this journey, as you are running, run with the sword. Where is the sword? Where is your sword? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm asking you now in this moment in time. The Bible says the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. What is your Bible? I mean your Bible. Where is your Bible? I mean your Bible. This is the sword of the Spirit. I mean the sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit. Run with the sword. Run with the sword. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you are running, do not look aside. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Are you running? On this run, your eyes must be squared on Jesus. Don't look aside. Don't look aside. Just speak with the person sitting next to you. Must not look sideways. Don't look aside. Don't look aside. Fix your eyes on Jesus. On Jesus. Kayeso. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your eyes are on Jesus, you will never sink. If your eyes on Jesus, the waves will, will rise. You will never sink. When Peter was walking in the water, the, the waves by the side, they were rising up. He looked at the waves. He was severed. And he was going down. He removed the eyes from Jesus. When the eyes are on Jesus, you will walk on your problems. You will walk upon your challenges. You will be under your feet. Challenges will be there. Challenges won't die. Challenges will stay. But when your eyes are on Jesus, you will walk above the challenges. There will be no day in this life. There will be no day in this life where challenges will die. Challenges will, will leave you with us. We will, 
When you look at Jesus, challenges or not challenges, you will pass. But of Fuka, I say you will pass. But of Fuka, you will pass. But of Fuka, when it gets nearer to a challenge, you will look down. And you will pass. Where are your eyes? Where have you put your eyes? In this life, so many others, they are squared on on the problem. They're crying unto the Lord. Lord! Lord! The Bible says, the psalmist says, I put up my eyes on the hills. Not on the problem. Problem we will live among them. Lift up your eyes. I'm speaking to somebody. I'm saying it. Lift up your eyes. Unto Jesus. Lift up your eyes. Unto him. The author and the finisher for your fight. To Jesus. Kayeso. Not on the problems. The more you look at the problem. A problem. Taizo. It's like a door. Zitonga munango. Mbya. You call it a door, ne? A door. A door. What? Fifty minutes or so. Zitonga bin. A door. It, it's like a door. A door. If you are preparing it, you mix it with yeast. And it, 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 it rises. The more you look at the problem, it's not afraid of you. It, it rises. It becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. It rises. And with a problem, it becomes big. Problem is not, it's not, it's not the problem. And do, do not trouble, trouble until trouble troubles you. The more you look at it, fixing your eyes on the problem, the problem becomes big. Each morning it becomes big. Each day it becomes big. But look, remove your eyes from the problem. Fix your eyes on Jesus. On him alone. On Jesus. Yes, so. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Him, the author and the finisher of your faith. This problem will be removed from your way. You celebrate. I'm victorious. I'm victorious. A new one will come. You, you, you conquer this one. The third one will come. You conquer that one. The eleventh one will come. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says we walk from victory to victory. From victory to victory. From victory to victory. Because our eyes are on Jesus. Neighbor, where are your eyes? Where are your eyes? If you have a wound which is not healed, and you keep scrubbing the wound, it will be bigger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm saying it will be bigger. Don't fix on the wound. Fix on the healer. Because in this life there is a healer. And the healer is Jesus. The healer is Jesus. Fix your eyes on the healer. He's alive. We are For God, my God. He's the Lord of the living. He's alive. We are Paul is alive. Paul we are Moses is alive. Elijah is alive. That's why. 
on the Mount of Transfiguration, Peter said, this place is good. I wish we can build three tents. One for Elijah, one for Moses. Because he saw Moses there. Moses speaking with Jesus. Moses came. Elijah came to give you advice to Jesus on the most trying times of his life. The heavens have to release those who lived in this life who lived in this life the Moses type the Elijah kind they said go to him and strengthen him they came because they are not dead they are not in the grave. They are not there. And our God is a God of the living. Not of the dead. He is the God of the living. Fix your eyes on Jesus. When you are running, put your eyes on him. On him. On him. On, him. on, him. on his word. I say on his word when difficulties are on your way and you speak I will make it it will be well with me it will be well with my house it will be well with my children speak, fixing your eyes on him when things are difficult challenges on your body and speaking looking at Jesus I will leave it and I will not die I will leave it and I will not die fix your eyes on him on him him alone I say him alone where are your eyes hallelujah Hallelujah. Where are your eyes? Speaking like David. When it was on his trying times. And he said, A thousand will fall on my side. And ten thousand on my other side. And no, no disaster. 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 When disaster has been reported everywhere, speak like David. No disaster will come my way. It will not come closer to me. It will never come close to my tent. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Who is Jesus? Yes, He's the word of God. In the beginning, there was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. And the word came to his, those of his own. And the word became flesh. And the word is Jesus. The word was born in Bethlehem. And the word is Jesus. Fix your eyes on him. He is the word of God. Fix the word over your situation. When you are running, run with the word. Run with the word. Run on the word. Run with the sword. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And do not look back. There is a case. They said, run to the mountains. They were speaking to Lord and the family. Run to the mountains. Don't look back. I think Lord was at the background. 
The, child, the, the two daughters were at the front. The mother was behind the sisters. The father was at the back. It's my imagination. They were running. Running. The, the word said to not look back. I'm speaking to you. Do not look back. Look forward. Where you are going. Look up. Look ahead. Do not look back. That was the word. It was a, 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 a lonesome statement. One statement. Run. Don't look back. The, the, the children were running. The mother. The mother. This mother. Hey, the mother. The problem is with the mother. Hey, mother. Hey, don't look back. She looked back. And she dragged standing. She turned into a pill of, of salt. The word was. If you love Don't look back. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these other things. Matthew says. All these other things. In Matthew 6. chapter 6. All these other things. This which which are the other things? Our worries. All these other things. What are all these other Our things? Our worries. All these other things. Which are these things? Our concerns. These other things. These other things. These things, these things. I'm referring to these. Medical card, you have a confession. Including the medical card. With including these. I mean, this, this, this. This God of yours. He knows that you need them. I mean, this, oh. I mean, this. Oh. this. this Lord knows that you need them. Hey, that we need them. He knows this. That I need them. That I need this. I must fix my eyes on him. He told him to These other time. things. He knows that. These other things. He says. He says you will be, you will be added. Hey, you are running after the things that need to be added. There are things which must be added. There are things which must be added. There are things which must be added. When you are running, some of us, we are chasing things which must be added. After those things, they are running away like the hares, the rabbits. You will never catch it. Hey! That rabbit! Don't chase the rabbit. Do not chase the rabbit. The rabbit will be added. It will be added. Are you hearing me? It will be added. Are we, are you, are we together? I'm saying it will be added. Don't chase things. Which must be, which will be added. There are things which will be added over your life. I say there are things. I'm not promising you. 
It's a written statement. It will never change. It's not a promise from me. It's, it's a word word from the word from the oracle. Things which must be added. Can you stand on your feet? Understanding this one thing. First thing first. There are things which must be added. First things first. Our first thing first. There are things which must be added. The cloud of witness. They are getting disappointed. When they see the, 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 the Christian of today chasing after things which must be added. Things which must be added. Our Jesus, forgive us. We we'll remove our eyes. We removed our eyes from the crown. We remove our, removed our eyes from the throne. We removed our eyes from you. The advisor said, we must fix our eyes on you. Forgive us. Forgive this generation. Forgive us, our Lord. Forgive us. For we are changing things which must be added. Lord Jesus, remake us. Remake us. We need you all the more. We need you all the more. I want to put my trust only on you. I want to put my trust on your word. I want to put my trust on Jesus. On Jesus. On Jesus. On Jesus. On Jesus. On Jesus. Jesus.